Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here my name is Beverly and it's lovely to see you today. In this video we're going to be doing a little book review so grab your brew, let's get to it. been a big fan of this creator for a while. It's Finn the Invincible and he has written a book, Top to Bottom, incredible title and I just love this creator. He is a blogger and a YouTuber. I will leave links to all of the places down below so make sure you go and check them out because I absolutely just feel inspired by this person. I have for a long time. They inspire me to try different things, to change my style a little bit, to be a little bit more personable, I suppose. Bring out my own personality, you know, and I try and do that all the time. And that's because of Finn. He is such an incredible person. And this book is so personal and it's so well written. And I'm not gonna give you any spoilers. <laughs> But let's get to it, shall we? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's do this. Now, as always, before we get to the review, we will talk about the brew. This is called Bibliophilia and this is by T-Spectral. I talk about this company a lot here on the channel. I will always cheer on my friends like I'm doing this review. I'm also always going to be talking about my friends, company T-Spectral. This tea smells divine. Oh, it smells like Ribena. Uh, I apologise if you're in a country that doesn't have Ribena. This smells just like Ribena and oh, 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 I cannot wait to have a sip. Let's talk about it, shall we? So inviting classics of blackberry and sage illuminate with cosy hints of vanilla and marshmallow. I'm sorry, but that just sounds absolutely gorgeous. And what I love about Tea Spectral is they will put down all of the ingredients so in this is black tea, blackberry leaf, sage, domania leaf, marshmallow root, vanilla bean and because they put all of those things on the label it means us witches can then look at all the different correspondences to do with those things and make a little spell with our tea. So I love that. Not a lot of companies do that but I love that and it's beautiful tea. I don't know that you can see but it's gorgeous. I, oh, oh yes, let's have a sip. I hope it's not too hot. I've only just made it. Tea Spectral never lets me down. This was so nice. I'm having another sippy sip. That is just so yummy. And I have to say that this company is based in California, but and you may feel a bit like, oh my goodness, shipping and handling is going to be insane worth it absolutely 150 percent worth it that's all i'm going to say that is all i'm going to say so let's get to the review so top to bottom is written by my friend finn or finlay games as his full name is it's a memoir and personal guide through phalloplasty i was really really excited to read this because i try and be an ally to anybody who's marginalized so be a good ally you have to have knowledge and understanding as best as you can of that person's experience and it's really hard to find out information about the whole experience it's really really difficult to find and I think this book initially was written for people who want to have a phalloplasty done, but there's not a lot of information step by step of, from the trans person's point of view. And so, I'm sorry if you can hear the rain. We're in the middle of a thunderstorm. I apologise if you can hear it. I love the sound of the rain though. <laughs> But I think it's really important to note that though this was written for people wanting to go through lower surgery, it's also great for us allies so we can understand better what people go through in order to transition to be the gender they were they were supposed to be, you know, to change their body so that they have no dysmorphia anymore. And I love this book because it was written with so much humour, 
and so so much vulnerability Finn was open about the whole process step by step not just about the step by step of the operations because you do have to have like three or four operations in order to transition and have this done to you but he also talks a lot about how he felt emotionally and what he was going through the struggles of realizing he was trans in his 40s the the struggle of transition and how that affected his relationships with friends with the person he was seeing at the time and how everything changed in those three years that he was having those very difficult very major surgeries they're not small surgeries at all they are so well explained though I definitely felt like I could follow it I was um, a nurse before I got sick but it wasn't too medical it was definitely explained in a way that the average joe can understand which is so important there's so many people who will be needing this information in order to make a decision on their own journey and how they are going to affect be affected but it's also just talking about the recovery process the surgeries the emotional toll of having those the fact that he was so open about how he would have flares of depression after each surgery and how one of his surgeries the doctor wasn't very good at communication so we, shall we say we've all been there but um, not all doctors are good at communicating with their staff and with their patients and he talks very much about how that affected his mental health and I think that's important that we advocate for ourselves and for each other and explain yes yeah, sometimes people aren't great at listening to us and aren't great at talking and yet talking about that in this book I thought was really really important it makes you very vulnerable I can imagine listen to the thunder i can imagine this was a very very difficult process because you're putting yourself completely in the hands of the surgeons and the nurses and i know we all do when we have surgeries but generally speaking the surgery isn't so impactful on our mental health and on just feeling like a full complete person quite often finn talked about puzzle pieces falling into place as he had each step happen and that really made sense to me just imagining how i would feel it as a woman if i then looked down and saw a male body i would feel just really like off kilter all the time just not quite right in myself just trying to imagine how it would feel is not the same of course but as an ally you have to try and put yourself in that person's shoes this book is so well written from his point of view that I felt like I could walk in his shoes for a moment while I was reading that book and just kind of understand the thinking and the feeling of being transgender. I was surprised that the process was so emotional and when I look back I'm like why was I surprised? Of course it's emotional but there were so many steps that he had to take to become how he felt was like his true form that of course it was an emotional journey but I think reading his thoughts and feelings on each step of the way really showed that this is more than just surgical more than just medical towards the end of the book Finn talks about his sexual awakening and how finding partners that were understanding and who he trusted helped him to see that his body was not certain areas that you were allowed to touch or not touch and certain parts of him were no longer seen as surgical sites or medical areas they were just him and that was beautiful I thought that was amazing I, I really got a lot out of this book Give me some tea. I also found the process of his sexual awakening was so beautiful from the respect of somebody who has an anxiety disorder and who often feels fear, barriers, fear. He showed that, you know what, if you step into and you lean into that fear and face it, that's where you can learn and grow the most. And I thought that was such an important lesson to learn. I think so much of the time we put up barriers to finn feeling that his body was not his own until he'd had the surgeries meant that he put barriers up over certain parts of his body but as somebody with with an anxiety disorder i often have barriers of fear up around certain parts of my personality certain things that i can't do and it really showed me you know what sometimes i have to lean into that fear a little bit and try and step forward through it and that's when i will learn and grow the most so it was really inspiring in that way as well 
I absolutely love the story at the end of him meeting his lobster. Because she's your lobster. <laughs> oh, she's going somewhere. Come on, you guys. It's a known fact that lobsters fall in love and mate for life. I love that because I followed Finn for a few years now and he's been with Fur Fur, as he calls him, for a while now. And I think they're such a sweet, cute couple. But to hear the stories of their beginning of their relationship and how, how he supported Finn through his final operation and through discovering his new body and realising that it was a healing journey and something that he needed to be patient about and that he had so much patience with Finn while he went through all these emotional moments. Just beautiful. They're engaged now as well, which is so nice. Oh, I love those two so much. They're just, they're an adorable couple. I'll leave links to Finn's Instagram. You can go through and there's lots of little cute soppy posts about his fellow, which I think is so sweet. Overall, I just would recommend this book to anyone, really. Um, people who are transphobic, people who want to be an ally or be a better ally and people who are scared of having transition operations and surgeries or are considering it. This is a good book for anyone really because not only do you get the surgical information and healing and he's also got tips and tricks for helping healing and what things helped him while he was healing which is amazing but also it's just seeing through his eyes the world and how he views himself was such an incredible journey to take with him and I love this book. I'm definitely going to read it again and I will be recommending it to anybody who asks me questions about anyone trans. I'll be like, there's a book that'll help because I just think it does help us understand and get a view of the world through somebody else's eyes and that's what's so important. Books are such a great way of walking a mile in somebody's shoes and just trying to understand from their point of view it lessens fear it lessens worries you know i think it just helps us all so go and get this book i will leave a link to it down below so that you can also get that book and i think next month we're going to be reading intuitive witchcraft so i'll leave a link to that as well down below in the description as well as all the places that you need to buy the tea to follow finn he's amazing he does a lot of stuff on his blog and his youtube channel about self-care about mental health as well as trans issues and i i i just look up to him so much he's everything that i want to be as a creator and i think he's amazing so finn you will always have my support i love you dearly and this book's amazing i bought it with my own money this is all my own opinion but i cannot fault this book at all it's it's amazingly written and so well done i loved it and i love the tea too i really hope that you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it if you did don't forget to leave me a cheeky little like down below so that I know you enjoyed it and I can bring more like this to my channel in future. If there's anything that you would like to see me review in the future, if there's anything you want to chit chat about, any questions you've got or it, you've read this book or you want to read this book or anything, anything at all, let me know down below in the comments because I just love chatting to everyone. And last but not least, if you enjoy my content, if you like my face, don't forget to head down below and hit that subscribe button and become part of the Butterfly family. We're a friendly bunch here and we would love to see you come and join us. So hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here Mondays and Fridays, my health permitting. I was doing my very best to be here with you every week twice a week. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will head down into the description and buy yourself a copy of this book because it's amazing. It's so so good. Don't forget if you enjoy my content to stick around, put your feet up, grab a cup of tea and check out this playlist that I put together for you. I hope you're having a marvellous day today. I hope you're doing well and I will see you next time. Bye!